The King of Jordan was recently in Rwanda. He spoke about genocide. In Rwanda, the prelude to genocide was the dehumanization and demonizing of the Tutsis of Rwanda. This is no different than what is occurring against Jews and Israelis in particular. Hamas Islamic Jihad and their allies have long declared their genocidal intentions against Jews and Israeli Jews. On October 7th, they showed the world that when given the opportunity to rape, slaughter, burn alive, behead, kidnap, and more, that is exactly what they would do. On that day, Hamas and Islamic Jihad invaded Israel. They attacked thousands of people in Israel, mostly all civilians, from infants to old people, thousands of defenseless people, from babies to old people were murdered, kidnapped, and or wounded, with many having been tortured, raped, mutilated, beheaded, and burned alive. Hamas and Islamic Jihad now, now hide in their multi-billion dollar below ground terror tunnels using the civilians of Gaza as their human shields. Genocidal murderers and rapists must not get a free pass. King of Jordan, if you really care about genocide and the civilians of Gaza, tell genocidal Hamas and Islamic Jihad to surrender, leave Gaza, and release all of the hostages. In exchange, Israel can release Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists to go live far away in one of the many countries that support these terrorists, like Iran, Turkey, Qatar, and elsewhere. Either offer Jordan as one of the places where these terrorists can go, or let the civilians of Gaza enter into Jordan so that Israel can finish the job and destroy genocidal Hamas and Islamic Jihad and all of their terror tunnels. And then no more civilians will be harmed. Afterwards, when it is safe, civilians can return. At the very least, speak out against those who deliberately attack and harm civilians and that use civilians as human shields. Hamas and Islamic Jihad are no less bloodthirsty, demonic and deranged than ISIS just because it is Jews that Hamas and Islamic Jihad attacked and still attack does not mean your voice should be silent if you truly oppose genocide. A Gaza of the future cannot continue to be a place where children are brainwashed into hating Jews and believing their only obligation in life is to kill Jews. In Rwanda, where there was genocide, the Hutus that committed genocide were killed, imprisoned, or driven out. They were not allowed to remain free in Rwanda. Genocidal murderers and rapists cannot be allowed to remain in Rwanda, Gaza, or free anywhere in the world where they have sanctuary and land from which to launch new attacks. Ignoring the evil of genocidal organizations and allowing them to remain in power makes all who support these organizations complicit in their crimes.